Hello everybody and welcome to my new playthrough, Drawn to Life, for the Nintendo DS. And I am super excited for this game. It looks really fun. I have to admit though, I have played the second one. I know, playing the sequel before the first game, unthinkable! But I actually did play uh, the next chapter, or most of the way through it. I don't know if I ever completed it, I don't really remember. But I know the basic formula of this game, and that is why I'm so excited to play the first one with all of you guys watching. So, without further ado, as they would say in the old Wild West when they're about to have a gun duel, draw. So let's start up a new profile here, uh, profile one. Are these all the same? Yep, they're all the same. There is nothing here. It is a blank slate for us to draw on. Gotta remember those extra words like on. They make a big difference. There are many stories to be told, but this one is special. This is our story. Long before we Raposa existed, there was the Book of Life, the design of the Creator. The Creator drew everything in this book and brought it to existence. First, the Creator formed a circle and drew our world. And here is our first instance of to drawing, so it is time for art. Now I'm not going to be showing all of my drawings in depth in their full, uh, in the full time it takes to draw them, but I think for these first few just tutorial drawings that you get to do, I'll show them on screen. And I probably won't color these because there is no fill tool, which is really irritating. So we're supposed to draw a world. Hmm. I feel like drawing a world with a face because I feel like drawing a face. So let's do that. I feel like doing a sort of mischievous face. Or whatever. <laughs> I know worlds don't have faces, but I feel like drawing a face because drawing a planet just isn't that exciting. There's our world. Now I need to like actually make him look like a world by drawing this circle here. And it's not going to all fit on the screen, but that's okay. You guys all know it's a circle, so I have no need to do that. And I'll draw some continents on him just to make sure he looks like a world. Ah, yeah, that is one rad world right there, so we are done. Then, the creator populated the world with our beautiful forests. So now we've got to draw some forests. You know what? I'm going to draw, like, I'm going to draw a tree, and it's going to be amazing. I know you can't handle my tree drawing skills. Look at this tree. It looks amazing. Amazingly bad, but oh well. I don't think these drawings really come into play too much in the game anyway. So now let's draw some leaves or whatever. Yeah, you can tell I'm not a pro at drawing trees, but you know, it doesn't have to be all pro-like. It can just be an amateur tree. So I'll draw some of that. We'll give some more green. I'm sorry if you can hear like the machine gun clicking of my mouse, but I'm trying to do these leaves pretty quickly here. And uh, let's fill in some of these spots right here where you can see the branches. But not all of them, because in reality I think you can see through the branches sometimes. And we'll add a little more color to the trunk here. And there we go, that is my tree. Even we Raposa were drawn to life by the Creator's hand. Oh goodness, I have to draw Raposa? <laughs> this is not going to look very pretty. I might actually pause for this one since you've got the general gist of it, and I will see you when I'm done with it. Alright, Raposa actually means fox in Portuguese, I believe. 
So, I just drew a little fox-like creature. I know it's not perfect. It's supposed to have its arms crossed, or uh, four legs crossed, if that's what you prefer. So that's why the arms look sort of weird. And that's supposed to be its tail right there, bunched up behind it. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Need to erase that little, little mistake there. Oh, goodness. So yeah, there we go. <laughs> There's my Raposa. They actually look a lot cuter than that in real life, so don't worry. So yeah, the drawing mechanics are sort of clunky in this game. I think it would be a lot easier if I was actually playing with a real DS and a real stylus, but this will work for now. But that's all changed now. The darkness has come, and the creator has abandoned us. There's no more need for this book. There's no more need for us. Creator, we need your help. The eternal flame just went out. It's not so eternal, is it? And then the darkness is creeping in. You are the only hope we have left. Dude, I feel like I'm in Star Wars. I'm their only hope. Help us. Please. Why don't you respond? How can you just sit there and be silent? Now almost everyone has left the village. You are the creator of everything. This is your world. Bring it back to what it once was. Please. <laughs> I will help. I will not help. Sure. So this is a Raposa. They're pretty cute. So yeah, I'll help you, little Mary. Or Marie. I have heard your cry and will provide a hero to help restore the village. But first, you must gather the villagers and bring them to the creation hall. Hmm? That's my best uh, creator voice. Is that really you? After all this time, I knew you would help us. I'll go, I'll go find Jowie and my dad. Hey. Whoa, it's all snowy here. Jowie! Jowie, come quick! He's not answering. Creator, can you tap on his house and wake him up? Uh, sure. Tap on Jowie's house three times to wake him up. Alright, let's do this. One, two, three. Did that work? Huh? Well, what's going on? Hey, Mary! I was just taking a nap. The creator just spoke to me. Huh? What? That's crazy. The creator hasn't spoken to anyone in years. I'm supposed to gather everyone in front of Creation Hall. Where's my dad? Uh, at the gate. He was trying to convince Isaac and his wife to stay. We have to stop them before they leave. Oh, so we gotta stop Isaac from leaving. Losing the eternal flame was the last straw. Now my shop is covered in darkness! And now our daughter is gone, we have to find her. Hmm. I understand, but we should go out together. This can't wait any longer! We're leaving! Stop! Dad, we have to speak with you! Oh, Mari! And Jowie, I'm glad you're here. Isaac's daughter went missing. They just left to go search for her. Dad, the creator just spoke to me. The creator told me to gather everyone and bring them in front of Creation Hall. Young Rappo, you've been talking about the creator for months now. Let it go. Oh goodness, he said let it go. And we are in winter right now. Nope, no references come to mind. But Dad, it's true! Mari, stop. We have more important things to worry about. You can't be serious, Dad. What about the Creator? I'm with Mary. We should at least give the Creator a chance. Uh... Mari, stop with this nonsense! The Creator abandoned us a long time ago. 
the villagers are what's important now. Aw, mm. rain clouds. Oh my gosh. Mary is so cute. So is Jowie. This is crazy. No one is listening to me. You believe me, Jowie. Don't you? Oh. Uh, maybe we should listen to your pop. It's, it's Isaac's daughter. Mm. Fine then. I'll go myself. No wonder the creator abandoned us. You have unbelievers like Jowie here. Mari, wait! Oh, Rappo, what am I getting myself into? Looks like there's crisis here in the Raposa village. The door is still sealed. Hmm. The creator told me to gather the villagers here, but everyone is gone. Uh, I'm still here. Maybe you should ask the creator for help. Good idea, creator. Can you open the door? Tap on the door to unseal creation hall. Okay, I can do this. Oh yeah, like a pro. Like a boss. Let's hurry inside. They just sort of like disappear as they go through the door. Mario, look at all these books! Creator, why did you bring us here? What do you need us to do? Oh, goodness. Uh, <laughs> Does it matter which one I choose? Uh, you know what, it's the first episode. We need our hero. Your request requires a hero. A hero? Why do we need a hero? Just bring back the villagers and get rid of the darkness. Mari, your father is in trouble. Who the Rappo was that? Was that the creator? What? My dad is in trouble? I will explain more over time. Walk over to the wooded mannequin. I fill this mannequin with my presence. I will add color to its frame and movement to its joints. Together, we will restore the village. I feel like Morgan Freeman, oh my goodness. Welcome to the Creation Hall. Here you can draw your own creation. Uh, let's see, the R will bring up pre-drawn guides. Okay, I see how it is. I can. I really don't want to do a pre-drawn guide though. Tip: X, bring the guide to life. Use the control pad to scroll through the guides. Use the clear button to start a new drawing. Okay, that's the clear drawing. So let's press that. And yes, we will clear all. Um. So yeah, we are going to start with a blank. because I sort of want to make this my own creation here. And this is going to take a while, I believe. At least I've got a fill tool now, <laughs> that's good. So, it is time for the birth of a new hero. But I'm not gonna show this all on screen, so I think another pause is in order and I will see you all when our creator has brought the hero to life. Alright guys, here we are. This is my hero. I know it's not perfect, but it is sort of hard to draw within the parameters they give you. So I did my best. I know his legs are a little short, and his arms look a little bit like, I don't know, gorilla arms, and his shoulders look like linebacker giant football pad shoulders, but whatever. Here, we're gonna have a closer look at him. I don't think you can really see this on the little sprite on the bottom screen. Or, I mean, on the top screen. But those are what his eyes look like. I added some white to make him a little more personable. And just in case you wondered, that is a hat he's wearing. His head is not, like, oddly configured or anything like that. So, yeah, that is going to be our hero throughout this, uh, throughout this adventure. So, 
without further ado, let's say okay. And yeah, we're gonna save and continue. Wow, the mannequin came to life. It's like Pinocchio. Creator, does it have a name? All right, yep, it has a name. Its name is Josh because Josh is the most he's the most horrific hero. I mean, the most heroic hero ever. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. So yes, my name is Josh. Hi Josh. Nice to meet you. We need to go find my dad. The creator said he was in trouble. Well, Josh, show us what you can do. Oh, I can dance. I can bring it down. So, where am I going? <laughs> I guess we should follow. I don't know. If I was me, I wouldn't follow me. Because who knows where me is going. Where's my mommy? That sounded like Isaac's daughter, Cindy. Josh, can you find Cindy? She must be close by. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it just, it just showed me where she was at. Well, I guess this is just a tutorial. And look, I can run like the wind, Bullseye. So yeah, we've got to find you here. Cindy. Maui, it's a monster white bow. It's okay, little Rappo. Josh is only here to help. <laughs> Josh, thanks for finding Cindy. We should go find her parents now. Meet us at the village entrance, okay? It's to the south. New task! Speak with Mari at the village entrance. Hold B to run. Alright, guys, so... Uh, I think that is all we're gonna cover in this episode. It's been a pretty, pretty good amount of story in this episode. Not really much gameplay, but it is the beginning of the game, so. Now, what I'm wondering is, do I have to save or something? That's what I don't know. It said it saves automatically, so can I just, like, turn it off? Or what? I know it saved after I made my hero, so... Ah, well, I'll figure it out eventually. So, in the next episode, we are going to be meeting Mari at the village gate and discuss what is going on here. So, I will see you all next time. Thank you all for watching this first episode. It really means a lot, and I will see you all next time. Peace out, everybody.